welcome to the well, it's first day of the season for me, first weekend of the season. I'm here with Mr. Jack. Hi, yes, hi, hi, hi. Hey, hey, you're all right. At last, we're at the theme park. <laughs> we're back, yay, we're back. Obviously, it's Thorpe Park, it's the first park back for the season. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun day checking out what kind of changes have taken place over the close season and then riding our old favourites. We're going to be having some, some rides on stealth. Of yeah. Number one baby. Swarm, Number yeah. one baby. Um, Nemesis Inferno, obviously. Saw, fabulous Saw. I love Saw. Do you like Saw? Yeah, yeah, I like Saw. Yeah, Saw's bad. Except for the jolt at the bottom. Uh, yeah, the little boop. <laughs> but it's fine. I also, there's some new food stuff I want to try, like the cookie ice cream things. We're also about to head into, head into the dome, which happens. The new blue floor. Oh, so fabulous. See that for the first time in person as well. It's going to be an exciting fun day, and the sun is shining. The coaster gods are smiling down upon us, and we're going to have a lovely, fabulous day. Let's go. DG, what a legend, yes. I love these new walls, the memories of 2020. We had some really, really good visits to the park uh, last year. Got Oktoberfest there, I spotted a ginger freckled girl there. Got lots of enthusiasts getting shout outs on the wall and we'll go, we'll look at that one on the way out, trying to keep separate. I can see Mr. Giraffe, the ranger. And oh, look at this floor. You know you're an enthusiast when you're excited by the new floor in the dome. <laughs> Oh, it's sparkly! It is. It's oh, yeah. so nice and shiny! Ah, oh. uh, do you know what? I have missed what this view. Hell? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they just haven't switched it on yet for the day. Oh, where? Oh, random, I don't know. Maybe they're doing it up or something. Right, here's a view I've missed. Are you ready, Jack? I'm ready, ready. Well, let's go over here. Let's go over here so we get a clear view. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Look at that. That is a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful. Yes. A day of thrills and fun ahead. And I think we are heading over to the UK's only B&M wing coaster, Swarm. Let's go. going on stealth because it has a first it says 30 minutes but like there's pretty much no queue so let's ride yourself I mean what a better way to start the season than with a ride on my favorite ride in the park anyway it's so nice to be back in this queue line yay <laughs> The 2021 season with a lovely back row ride on stealth. Well, second to back row, yeah. wasn't it? Close enough. Lovely ride. I love stealth, it's my favourite. And that launch every single time, like the launch absolutely nails it. It never ceases to make my stomach clench, it never ceases to get my adrenaline pumping. I absolutely love it. We're waiting for Serena and her boyfriend are here as well. So they uh, they waited for front row because Serena's boyfriend's never he has ridden stealth but ages and ages and ages ago, so she was like, you need to ride front row. Thank you a little bit longer for that. So We'll get their thoughts when they come off. And these guys have just been on the front row. Hello, Hello this is Serena and Matt. Hello. Hello. <laughs> front row on stealth is just one of the best roller coaster experiences in the UK. Always gets my heart going, gets my eyes watering. <laughs> 
I love the airtime you get on the, the second like. We were discussing break. this in the queue, and we were saying between this and um, what was it on? We were saying saw and oh, yeah, smiler. Sorry, yeah. smiler. Best airtime in the UK, definitely. definitely yeah. yeah. Definitely um, and after close season, does it feel more intense? Oh my yeah. god, absolutely! <laughs> I thought my skin was gonna come off. <laughs> Like, oh, and it's nice. It's actually nice to have had the break. And yeah, reset on. your senses like, a little bit. Definitely, everything feels a lot more intense now. Which yeah. Is good. Oh, and that. That was oh, amazing. Yeah. Best air time. Yeah, loved it. Yes. Ten out of ten. Right. I don't know where we're going next. I think we're just gonna walk. No, walk. It will probably yeah. end up being a rumba nemesis direction, just based on what the crowds are doing. But we have no set plan for today. We're just kind of gonna make it up as we go along, as are most of the best days out at theme parks. to stop off on a little for a little ride on rumba rapids at thought park but we were chatting and we were like okay there are four major rapids in the uk so how do we rank them so jack tell us well me personally because i work on the river rapids Alton towers my number, number one, one. <laughs> bias <laughs> <laughs> um i'll say this now <laughs> I don't know, if, if the water effects were working on the like a Long Windsor one, yeah. that'll be the second. Yeah. This will be the third. Yeah. And then obviously Drayton Manor, I can't really tell because we've got Well they've honest, updated so. it for this year, haven't yeah. they? So. so obviously when we got on it this year. Yeah. I'll put that in the rankings. Yeah. Um, cool. Serena, what about you? Rapids, UK Rapids ranking. UK Rapids ranking. Mine is effects dependent. Yeah, so yes, I'm very much. <laughs> Legoland Viking Rapids, number one when all the effects are working. Alton Towers, number two when all the effects yeah. are working. But I miss those waterfalls. <laughs> RIP waterfalls. And then probably Drayton Manor. I've not ridden the updated, obviously, I guess no one has yet, <laughs> Rapids yet. And then, oh, yeah, probably this one in a fourth place yeah it's, i do think like all the rapids in the uk when you think about it like there's no real standout it's actually quite hard to rank them because they are i think with the exclusion of the viking rapids they are all quite similar um i think i would probably go the same as you with like the viking rapids i remember riding it when um all the effects are working and it's kind of because you're kind of cascading down the hill a little bit i love that and because the theme's a little bit different as well you don't usually get a viking oh, theme yeah. ride like that's quite cool um I love Rumba Rapids, but I have really good memories. Like, I remember you coming here for Ghost of Force yes. when they used to play the dual music <laughs> on this. Like, and that was always so, so good. Um, then Alton Towers Rapids, um, and I agree, like, when the waterfalls are on, it's a really fun ride. But you do still have, like, there's some quite violent splashing on the Alton Towers Rapids yeah, that I quite, yeah. I'm quite into. Drayton Manor Rapids I'll put last, but that's on the caveat of, again, it's been updated for this year with Adventure Cove, so I'll be getting there at some point this year, and we will readdress the UK Rapids yes, ranking yes. and see where it falls. <laughs> little go on the rumba rapids i always think it's funny like when you we're used to the uk rapids not really getting us wet so it's a bit of a russian roulette you kind of all sit looking at each other going who's going to get the one <laughs> drop of water and it ends up making it quite an intense ride but how on, on following your ranking is that is it still up to i mean everything's changed now <laughs> because the waterfall was on inside the little cave on the rumber wow. rapids so i'm gonna give them one point waterfall bonus, which I think just shifts the Thorpe Park Rumba Rapids above Drayton Manors. There we go. But then, you know, when I go back to Drayton Manor and ride the refreshed rapids there, who knows? Who knows? It's, it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's so intense. Where, but when we will have to pick this back up once we're into Drayton Manor and see where we stand. <laughs> so, if you've watched my sit down videos, you will remember at the start of the year where I challenged myself to do a few things this year. And one of the things I challenge myself to do is push myself to ride rides that I don't usually ride. Um, and obviously it's the first day of the season this year, we're here at Thorpe Park. And one of the things that I challenge myself to ride was drop towers. 
as you can see behind me, that's Detonator. I don't usually ride Detonator because I don't like Detonator. It scares me, and it, I, I don't usually. I usually just walk past it, and I, I pretend I do not see. I pretend it doesn't exist. But Serena is in the same boat as me. Oh, we, we, we agreed. So we agreed. So before, I've got to do it. Yeah. Before we get stop and get some food and have a little sit down, we thought, you know what? Let's just get this out of the way. So join me, shall you, for. Uh, <laughs> Our first ever ride that I have vlogged, well I'm not going to take the camera on obviously, but before and after, of us riding Detonator and you can see how much I hate, hate drop towers so pray for me. like ignoring Tower of Terror I can't remember the last drop tower I actually went on um, which is making this a whole lot worse than it means to be well that's why we did this challenge to mix up the day <laughs> waiting for it to drop i don't even mind actually going up it's like I, i'm so tense yeah like i sit there and i'm just like yeah i'm not having a fun time it doesn't help yeah. that we didn't get the countdown either. no you couldn't even hear it like i mean if you played if it, oh jack loves it yeah jack's just like Woo! like i always think oh maybe it's not as bad as i remember and then i i really i just don't like the feeling of it i really don't like it oh it makes a whole bunch of Oh, that is the first ride that I've like screamed. Yeah. A lot of like, you know, the noises would like involuntary. Like a guttural <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah. oh, right, well, it's done now, so there we go. I can say I'm like, the challenge is still, it's still underway. We're still riding drop towers and things, so that's good. And we're going to go and try and find some food now to kind of set our stomachs a little bit. So we'll see what's around. I'll show you what we have when we, when we choose. We haven't chosen yet. With a, with a with strawberry topping. Yeah. So <laughs> no, it's bacon it? bits, but yeah, it does look like mm, a strawberry sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And I have had, I mean, it's basically gone now, but I've had a cider and a lovely Coke on this most glorious sunny day. Lovely, lovely. on a mission he spotted the pin badges the new for 2021 pin badges what you got rush is that a new one i'm not seeing that one before Ooh. i like the one. the detonate one's quite fab isn't it mm. amazing bird oh, oh my god the pirates 4d one's amazing oh, i love that have you got the wooden witch one no that's fab as well tidal one's nice as well and the storm set one i love them all and some nice lanyards. Lanyards. I never know what's new and what's not. Thunder River retro one. 
You've got that one, haven't you? Yeah. 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 I love this refit for the mega store with all the like big ride key visuals everywhere. What the Walking Dead the ride over here? Some lovely vintage tote bags, and then just like the general thought park branding in the middle. It's looking really nice. I really like it, and it's quite nice that with the social distancing, you can actually walk around and see everything. It's really nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like the swarm, I like the stealth one as well. Ooh, that's really cool. <laughs> Jack is contemplating. <laughs> Giving the money back, isn't it? Flying fish. <laughs> Giving the money back. Yeah. <laughs> Get paid from working at Orton Towers and just spend it on resin. <laughs> <laughs> Had some lovely lunch, had a nice mac and cheese. It was actually quite nice to sit and chill and have a beer in the like the garden out the front of Infinity and surrounded by all the uh, the kinetic energy of the flat rides. That was very nice. Um, the queues have kind of reached peak at the moment, as you can imagine. It's the middle of the day and the weather's very nice, so it makes sense. Um, I think we're just going to bite the bullet and just get in the queue for something. Nemesis is the best queue time of the biggest coasters and we have not ridden that yet. So we're going to go and get in the queue for Nemesis Inferno. <laughs> I really love the new look of the Cookies and Creamery, formerly known as Nitrogeny. It's really strange walking through this area. Last few times we were here, we're here for Oktoberfest and Fright Nights and obviously this was a bit of a kind of central hub of activity there's no events on right now so there's not really a lot going on and obviously Darren Brown's closed because um, they can't open until late this month according to Boris so yeah it's a bit it's a bit strange but yeah oh my god I love the look of that I think that looks really nice kind of steampunky feeling that's really really cool maybe we'll come back later and get one of those I'm too I'm too stuffed full of mac and cheese right now to stomach one of those but maybe once that's settled after the uh the nemesis queue and subsequent ride maybe I can see about getting one of those but I never mind a longer queue for nemesis because I can take some nice pictures and relax a little bit let my food go down <laughs> Ride on Nemesis Inferno. Yes. yes. Love the helix at the end, give you a little bit of jelly legs. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. And Matt's now finally been on Inferno and Nemesis. And what team are we on? Um, Inferno. Team Inferno. Well, there we go. Another one for Team Inferno. I think they're fastly growing. I was saying, I think if you just take the ride, like theming aside, I think Inferno just pips it. But with the uh, kind of the valley and the rivers of not blood. Um, at Alton Towers, there, that's like, my favourite. Yeah. The nostalgia of Nemesis, yeah. for me, you know, like it's a bit more of a legacy. Yeah, ride, exactly. It? It was it's one of my first it. big coasters, so it's always going to have that special. Uh, you know, oh, it's cupcakes and coasters. Yeah. <laughs> 
your choice. Oh, sorry, hello. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit more of a legacy and a bit more of a kind of grandness about Nemesis. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nemesis is like iconic. Yeah. yeah. Nemesis Inferno Legend. never quite hit that. Yeah same level of and I do think if Nemesis Inferno wasn't called Nemesis Inferno it was called something else it would get the praise it deserves yeah, like, cause it is, exactly. it's an excellent roller coaster it's I one will, of the best roller coasters in the UK like, I wonder how much of a comparison when it happens just because they share the same that's name, exactly it you know? yeah definitely it happens we're going to ride Saw now it's been down for quite a lot today but we've just seen this open back up so heading over on over to Saw the Ride So excited to finally be getting on Black Mirror Labyrinth at some point in the next few months. We're probably gonna, gonna be coming back in the summer um, once this is open. So fingers crossed that can happen and we can finally play test the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Very, very intrigued to see what this attraction is going to kind of be and what the experience is going to kind of unfold inside. And very, very intrigued. We can kind of see across the fence over there. It's looking ready and raring to go. I think they're just waiting on the go-ahead, which is super exciting. Sadly, this will probably be our last ride of the day. As you can see, we are in the queue for Saw the Ride. Obviously have to ride Saw the Ride when we come to Saw Park. It's one of my favourite coasters here. We haven't actually managed to get on the Swarm today, which I'm a little bit sad about, but I mean, this might be our only visit to Saw Park this year, so we'll just come back and do it another day. And actually, it's been a really nice day, like enjoying the sun and being quite chill and kind of just having a general catch up. It's been really nice. And I'm very excited to get back on this lovely Gashlawa Eurofighter coaster after I think I rode it on, ooh, <laughs> I thought you were telling me I had something on my head or something. <laughs> I think the last time I rode it would have been Fright Night. So yeah, a good, a good few months. Since Flute been Nute. Flute Nute. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a good few months since I last rode it. I think I probably last rode it in the dark as well. So a slightly different experience. But yeah, it's been really fun getting back to Thought Park. And I'll do some kind of final thoughts to make our way off of the island like no other. Please can we appreciate Serena's phone case? her arrow sticker moving in straight lines since 1946 <laughs> and pumpkins and coasters you can buy both of these from um what theme what's park, it still called theme, theme park, park collection theme park collection yes on etsy so if you search theme park collection on etsy you can pick yourself up some fabulous merch yes <laughs> Vertical drop roller coaster, how exciting. See how you feel. Yeah, it's, it's a weird, weird sensation. Yeah, yeah. Brace yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, my, it's my advice. Ride and kind of put up with the maybe more painful stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of the feeling? Oh, it's really good. I wish you didn't get hit square in the eye with the ball. You got that as well, didn't you? The guy, the, the you know, like the body guy with the indoor inversion, he's like extra kind of um, excitable, shall we say, this season. Um, yeah, well, I mean, sometimes he's not working, so at least he's working this year. But yeah, I'm glad to hear you liked it. You proud? Oh, I'm so proud. Yeah, that's one of my favourite rides in the UK. I really yeah. love Saw. I know it's not technically the best ride in the UK, but it's one of my. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just love that Beyond Vertical Drop. It's just a, it's a Thor Park staple to me. Like, I mean, maybe self, but then Saw the ride. Like when if you talk to like general public, if you said what rides are at Thor Park. So yes. the ride is like the thing that people yeah. say, so yeah. And I love the pacing of it as well. Yes. Like, you've got your indoor bit and then you'll be on vertical drop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really good fun. 
It's great. It never gets old. <laughs> Sun has set on a first day of the 2020 season for me and our day at the island like no other. It's been a very fun day. It's been quite a busy day, like the queues have been quite long considering obviously everyone's gagging to get back out and about and obviously with the social distancing and stuff in place and the extra cleaning measures and all that kind of things, things are just going to take a little bit longer so it's kind of a given if you're coming to a theme park on a Saturday. You expect to wait a little bit longer so I mean it didn't exactly put a dampener on the day by any means. We got on most things we wanted to get on the only thing like i said i would have maybe wanted to ride is swarm but it's not like i'm never coming back to foot park is it so we'll just have to make sure that we ride swarm first next time we had some lovely food in the um infinity bar and kitchen that was really nice the mac and cheese and we had a lovely pine and just sat in the sun that was lovely and yeah i've just had a really good day it's been really really nice to get back into a theme park and I can't wait to do it all over again tomorrow when we go to Chesington World of Adventures to check out Croc Drop. Amazing. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, if you like theme parks and theme parky stuff, that's what we do here. So please, uh, if that's the kind of thing you enjoy, subscribe. There'll be more videos like this and as the season goes on, I'm going to be going to more and more places. Like I said, Chesington tomorrow, going to Walton Towers next week, Horsons Park the week after that, Diggerland. Also got uh, trips planned to Fantasy Island, uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach this year. Um, so yeah, it's going to be loads of fun stuff happening this year. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.